Gamer subs. More like gamer sucks. <laughs> In my last video, I talked about my experience with gamer subs. Uh, for a quick recap, both my orders were missed months after they should have shipped. One of the shakers arrived damaged with a crack that causes it to constantly leak. They offered a $15 discount code and a free shipping code for poor customer service in general and how others had gone through similar situations. But that was only one part of the game of Sub shit sandwich because when I looked into it, I found so many more cases like mine. GSUP sell their waifu shakers in a limited amount and once they sell out, they will never make the shaker again. So if you miss out, too bad stupid, better luck next time, or you can pay a ridiculous amount from a reseller. These shakers have a really bad case of people buying just to resell, and if people are willing to pay these prices for them, so be it. But what does the company do to help fix this issue? Do they make more shakers? Nope. Instead, they oversell their product and either send out the wrong shaker, or in some cases, no shaker. Maybe in some kind of hopes that whoever brought it will just forget or maybe not care. Maybe this is just a dispatch issue, but this has happened too many times for it just to be a one-off. And majority of the time, the shakers have sold out with no more in stock, and the customer is either left with no shaker or one they didn't order in the first place. They seem to do this with other things, emotional things such as coins. The pirate shaker, for example, was meant to come with a coin, and when people asked, where's my coin? They were hit with, oh, we're sorry about that. They were limited, even though it was never stated before. But tell me why other people were sent this coin when they didn't even purchase the kit. Now, it seems the go-to fix for them whenever they have these kind of fuck-ups is to offer a $10 code, which some people have reported that the $10 code doesn't even work. Another issue, and possibly my biggest issue with the waifu shakers, is the design's peel. They are not dishwasher friendly. You can only hand wash them, and in some cases, even that can also damage them. You can't have ice in them because the condensation will make them peel and in some cases even touching them will damage it too. The company logo on the back will be completely fine. They made sure that that was indestructible. Meanwhile, just looking at the big anime titties will cause it to turn to dust. This brings me to my next point. The community has taken it upon themselves to fix this by using Mod Podge. Mod Podge is a glue slash sealer that if applied right will leave a clear coat and stops it from peeling. The community seems to just accept it as it is what it is, which I suppose it is. The company doesn't care, they will sell out anyway. And once they ship off the shakers, if they even ship it out and it does go to shit, they will just pull out the old reliable $10 discount code. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba, but it does contain the unstoppable Exodia. Ah, impossible! Exodia! Obliterate! I recommend holding out and avoid buying the shakers if you're going to be using them and hopefully the company can get their shit together and start making some solid shakers. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like or dislike, comment down below, subscribe if you want to and I'll see you on the next one. Catches.